What's going on, dickweeds? That's better. Hey. Fucking right. It would have been a lot better if my fucking toe wasn't pounding like that. Donna ripped the fucking stool out and took, I think, two or three of my fucking toes. Hurt so bad, I can't, I don't even know how many toes are hurting right now. You know, one of those pains when somebody rips something across your foot? I can't tell if it's two fucking toes or four. But something's going on down there. It hurts fucking bad. <laughs> feels like blood, but it's probably not bleeding. <laughs> but sure feels like it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't see Feels like head. one of my toes might be lying over there. <laughs> I didn't see your foot there. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> hey. Oh. That don't feel like it's gonna go away anytime soon. <laughs> That's all I can feel. <laughs> well, not just that. There's that big raking feeling across the top. <laughs> there's the pound, but there's that raking, burning feeling too. Okay. <laughs> Today's Friday. We don't get very many fucking views on Fridays, so we don't got very much planned. We didn't have nothing planned, like for notes. You guys are lucky something happened today. Otherwise, this would have been a... Anyway. Today's 34 days of no alcohol for me. I wanted some alcohol. She wouldn't let me get it. A hole. Right? <laughs> okay. So, Donna went to get her nails done today. The sheriff, you guys might know the sheriff from the comment section down below. She did Donna's nails. And my toes. Yeah, she probably had a real surprise when you took off your fucking shoe. <laughs> anyway. Donna got her fucking nails done today, and I dropped her off over at the sheriff's house. It was too cold. It was uh, at the time that it dropped me off. It was said it felt like minus forty-seven out. Yeah, it was cold as fuck. Uh, then after Donna dropped me off, or after Donna dropped me off, <laughs> after I <d> fuck, <laughs> eh? After I dropped Donna off at the sheriff's house, uh. I came back here and I picked up the jizz because he wanted to go and uh, look for a few things that he needed. And I figured, well, I got nothing to do. I might as well give him a fucking ride. So I gave him a ride to, like, I don't know, Canadian Tire and... Walmart? No. No? Just Canadian Tire? Yeah, maybe it was just Canadian Tire. Yeah, I think I just took him to Canadian Tire. He needed to go there to see something. Um, anyway, I came back home, me and the jizz, pulled in the driveway. There was a city truck parked at the end on the street, and I noticed a female walking through my backyard coming to the front gate. So I put my window down, and she came up to my window, and she said she had a complaint about my, uh ring cams apparently they're facing in the people's uh, houses. houses like windows and 
different things like that, right? Uh, but that's not true. <laughs> so, see my camera in the front yard on the tree faces the front door and it sees up the street. You could see windows, but you can't see into windows. You can see houses, right? The one in the driveway faces across the street and there's no houses across the street from us. And the one in the backyard faces our back door, but through the yards also, but not any windows or anything like that. So I said to the bylaw lady, um, I've had these cameras up for years, you know. The Timmins police actually told me to put these cameras up years ago, like three or four years ago. At, like a little while after we got robbed, we were told to get cameras, but we didn't. And then a bunch of other shit happened around the neighborhood because I do YouTube videos, right? Sometimes you get like some real fucked people hanging out. <laughs> I was told then to get cameras. The egg... The, the house got egged. I was told to get cameras then also. And then finally we got the fucking cameras. You know? We were told by the police, the insurance company. Timmins Housing knows the cameras are up. Anyway. So... It was the lady, it was the new lady next door that moved in who complained about the cameras. She doesn't like that I have ring cams, so she called Bylaw on me. And Bylaw mentioned this thing about cameras, but that doesn't apply to me because also on the city's thing, well, Donna will tell you because Donna found it. Okay, so um, the thing that the Bylaw lady sent, Ed. Yeah, she told me she would send me uh, something about what the bylaw is here in Timmins about having security cameras. Yeah. But she didn't send me the right thing. She sent me what she found in yeah, whatever she was looking through. Yeah, it says in the thing about not having it in, uh, what is it you said? That means inside houses. Yeah, in, uh, yeah. It, it can't be facing in houses. In houses, so here... I have a I have a piece of paper to show her if she wants to see me again next week. She said she'd talk to me again next week. Um, so here in Canada, like reasonable uh, privacy means you can't like be filming in somebody's house. And also here in Canada, the, you can look it up yourself. It's on you can Google it. It comes up right away. Um, if you have cameras, uh, security cameras set up, it doesn't matter if it's facing your neighbor's property or at their house or whatever, as long as it's not facing into their fucking window. Yeah. And, well, that's what I got going on here. I'm not breaking any laws. No. So, the th so I went on to the, I was like, because I remember Ed telling me that she was going to send him the bylaw that states this, right? Yeah, and she did send me something, but it's not... Uh... I went on, and I went on to the fucking Google, and I put in, and it's right from the city. It's the city of Timmins fucking We're in bylaw. Timmins, Ontario. So I put in, like, what I'm looking for. I want to know about security cameras. And then it does have bylaws, but it says if your security camera or your, your surveillance camera is used to protect your home. Which that's what it's for because we got then robbed everything before. everything above is, uh, what is it? We like? got robbed before and attacked, attacked with eggs and uh, other things. Somebody was in the backyard last summer or yeah, like, was it yeah. this summer? Yeah, this, someone this, just passed. Yeah, it was yeah. in the backyard. Someone tried to get into our car. Uh, this, not like the summer that just passed, but the year before that, right? There was footprints right on the fucking back step. Like, so the camera is used for that. So everything else above that, it doesn't matter because that's what the camera is used for. Yeah. Like where the camera's not, the, like uh, where she's getting, where she thinks that this camera is looking through a brick fucking wall is beyond the me. The neighbor's fucked. She's so fucked. She, she doesn't like that her dog gets recorded barking in the backyard the way it barks. That's why she doesn't like that camera. And I don't know why she don't like the front ones. Probably because they record her smoking in the front. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what was I going to say, Donna? 
oh yeah and bylaw doesn't have the right to look at my cameras to see which way they're facing or anything like that or to go into any of my stuff like that because here in Canada it says that it has to be something like you know uh, a threat to national security and my footage is not a threat to national security at least I don't think so. But who is she just to fucking come through the fucking into the backyard? Who? The bylaw. Oh, well, she's bylaw. They snoop around. Yeah, but <laughs> we do have signs that say beware of dog. How does she know that the dog's not? Well, like, she's who's... lucky the dog didn't grab her. But Charlie, Charlie's not a grabber. The dog we had before Charlie, he would he would have ripped her apart. <laughs> There'd be no more bylaw officer. So anyway, I said to the bylaw lady, I said, I know it was the neighbor right here, the new person that moved in. She doesn't like that the cameras are up. I seen when they, when she was first moving in, whoever the old dude was in the red truck that was driving her stuff to her house, he was pointing at all my cameras in the front yard, like like there was a problem. They 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 moved in there and, and they and they just want to make up rules now for the neighborhood, you know? Like yeah. what the fuck? So anyway. Uh, I knew I knew it was a lady next door that shares a drive with me with the dog that called because when the bylaw lady was here that fat fucking bitch that, lit, that shares a drive with us she went and stood in her backyard over there so she can see my window and the driveway to see what the bylaw lady was doing and what she was saying so I said to the bylaw lady would you like to come into the house because it's cold as fuck right and so she came in and the pig next door couldn't hear anything. So after the bylaw left, I, I said to the bylaw lady, I showed her, I showed her my my YouTube, my my channel. I said like I make videos every. I went down the fucking thing. I said I make fucking videos every fucking day. I've been doing this for like about five years. I use the yard all the fucking time. I'll go out there with my cameras and set them up at any time, and nobody can stop me. So what's the difference if it's my surveillance camera, like a, a security camera, if I'm standing? You know what I mean? She didn't have an answer for that. So anyway, she left, and the pig next door took her dog outside. She was all, you know, smiles like she did something. And she didn't because my camera's still up. I, the, the bylaw lady said, I'm not telling you to take down the camera or nothing. I just wanted to know if, you know, if you can use a blur option uh, uh, thing on there, she said. And I could, but if I turn the blur on... Over here, I can't see somebody coming down the driveway. If I turn the blur on over here, I can't see someone coming across the lawn. So I can't turn the right or left on. And the way, yeah, like it's impossible. And if I turn it on, on, on the one on the tree, my house isn't fucking there. Right? Yeah. Or the driveway's fucking missing and I can't, it defeats the purpose. I only see the back of the person who might be trying to get into the house. And in the backyard with that camera, it, the the right hand blur option on the camera for the right hand part of the screen it, it it shuts off my fucking door and if I if I turn off the left side it shuts off the fucking the, the backyard and people jump the fence to get into my house they come through the back door that's how I got robbed before right and I had another person just the summer that the summer that passed that she was talking about really? tried to get in through the back door also. Oh, and I remember there was, like, different things in the fucking yard and stuff like that, and the fucking yeah. fence was bent over here. Yeah. So people jump in through the, the... The one dude that she was talking about came through the driveway and got in the yard, but before that, like, with the broken tent and shit like that, someone came over the fence because we already had cameras in the front yard at the time. Yeah. And so... Yeah. I don't remember what I say. The blur <laughs> option. Oh, yeah, the blur option. It doesn't work for me because... I might as well just not even have a fucking security camera, right? So, fuck that shit. Yeah, because, like, there's these settings, but, I mean, it doesn't say you have to have these settings, you know? Like I said... Well, the settings don't work for us, though, because if I turn... Like I said, if I turn it on, I'm shutting off... Where you're... Where the person will be coming from. Yeah. Like you're not going to catch it all. And if the back door, like, what would be the point of fucking... You know, putting that on, that that blur thing on, right? You wouldn't. You just see a somebody black, like in a black fucking like you know black it ma clothes. It makes no sense like to do that. It doesn't work for me. So 
That's what I said to the bylaw lady. I said, I'm not taking down my fucking cameras. I said, I was told to put them up by the Timmins police. And more than one officer, like several officers have over time have told me to put those fucking things up. And like I said, the insurance company, after we got robbed, said we should look in the cameras. Fucking, you know, Timmins House and knows they're up because we got fucking robbed. And they never complained. They've been up for fucking like, when did you get the first two? Like three or four years ago? Or the first one, anyway? Uh, a lot. it's been a couple years, yeah. You guys might fucking remember. We were doing videos when we got them. It's been a while, though. We've had them for a long time. At least three years, I want to say. At least three. Yeah, nobody's ever complained. Well, the last neighbor who lived there complained about them. But the cops told her there's nothing she can do about it. Yeah, but then after that, right, the, she did ask, there's times like, hey, is there anything on your camera that shows this? Like, yeah, nobody she, had, ever... she had a lot of problems after with dudes going to her house and stuff, and she'd come over here and ask us if, if she can, if Donna can see if there's anything on the camera, so after a while, she wasn't worried about the camera, she was actually worried about using our camera also for surveillance. Same so. as like the people attached there have asked me like, hey, is there anything on your camera that show because they have gotten stuff stolen out of their yard? Like yeah. nobody has, nobody complains about the cameras. Yeah. So anyway, after the by, did I say what I did? No way. Eh? No. The bylaw lady left and that fucking pig went outside and she stood out there with her fucking dog smiling away. Smoking her dirty cigarette, you know, dogs just fucking barking. So I went outside with my fucking camera, that one right there that I'm recording right now on, and I held it facing at her fucking dog while her dog barked. And she didn't like that. She said to her dog, oh, now, now they want to film you. And she took her dog in the house. They were, they were outside for about a minute. Her dog didn't even get the piss. But, uh, you know... Well, like, why are you talking? I'm allowed to film what my eyes can see. I pay for the property right here, and if I could see you in your property, I could pull my camera up and film you. And it's your dog that That's is. That's the law. Being a nuisance, like you know. If you want privacy, you have to create your own privacy. That would be inside your house. Yeah, or like if Tim and Tozzi wanted to build you a fucking wooden fence, but here we got chain link fence all down the fucking through the whole neighborhood. Yeah. So nobody has any fucking privacy. They, they cut all the trees. There's no such thing as privacy in this neighborhood. There's just no such thing. I go outside. I got a neighbor that's attached to me that sits there smoking all summer long. Obviously, the new neighbor is going to be smoking all summer long in her yard. With her fucking dog. The lady behind us runs around with her fucking kids back there. The other guy over there, he, he, he does all kinds of work in his fucking yard, you know. I'm out in my yard all the time fucking filming and doing stuff. There's no privacy. We all fucking see each other. Yeah. Like, there's no such thing as privacy here. Timmins Housing, on, on the fucking lease, it says... Uh, it says... Uh, what does it say, Donna? About what? It says reasonable enjoyment of your fucking yard and stuff like that. You know, like... Yeah, like nobody's taking that away from you. I got a, I got a camera facing my door, and and there's nothing I can do about it. That his face is all like picks up her yard also. Like everybody just does their stuff. Honestly, it's a honest. fucking it's a ring cam. It's dome shaped like a fucking GoPro. I can't change that. It no, films like, like uh, you know what I mean. Everybody like though around. <laughs> it here doesn't like, just film straight. Everybody that goes out in the yards in the summertime, like everybody just does their own thing because you have to be, because. If you're worried that somebody's yeah. going to be looking at you, like, you're... Yeah, if you're worried somebody's going to be looking at you, you're living in the wrong neighborhood. You just do what you want. Because there is no privacy here at all. You may get, like, the high or something, like, next door, whatever, but everybody just does their own thing, I find. Yeah. There's no such thing as privacy around here. Yeah, why and why she's talking to her dog like it's a human is beyond fucking me. Like, why is she... She's telling why, the dog that I'm recording, recording it now. <laughs> They're recording you now. <laughs> that sounded a little fucked. Like she was talking to it like it was an actual person. That's what I mean. Like when and I then she brought it in the house. When when she like when I seen her yesterday blowing the kiss the kisses and stuff, it was like it was like her boyfriend, you know? Like, you know, it, no seriously and the and the dog's a female, so it'd be like I don't know, she's fucking weird and Donna wanted to ride up to McDonald's. Or, or Horton's 
She wanted to ride to McDonald's and Horton's. We stopped at McDonald's and and we had to lie. We'll get to that. Okay, we were leaving here. Donna was locking the door and the lady next door was back in out of her driveway. And she kept staring over here all mad. So Donna put a big smile on her face and kept smiling at her. So the lady sped off up the street, so I don't know what's going to happen. It was just... I was locking the door, and she was backing out. I was, I was locking the door, and I looked, right, and she was backing out. But then she started looking over at the house, and I was thinking, like, what are you doing looking over here? So I I, <laughs> I went like this, and I was like... She kept a big smile on her fucking face the whole time. And the lady see me, right? But then she turned her head, but then it, like, clicked in, like... You know, is that little bitch fucking sm like smiling at me? You know, and she fucking put her head back and she's staring at me. So I just kept on smiling at her, like I just thought that was the right thing to do, right? <laughs> she got so mad that like the f she was gone up the street so fast. The fucking you know, because it's so <laughs> cold, the exhaust is still in the air. You know, fuck. I then I start to question if I should have done that. <laughs> you know, I'm not worried about it. I'm not. I could take her. But well, she does seem like, you know, like I said, like, you better watch that she doesn't try to hit you with, with her car. Well, she's just mad about the cameras. We already had two in the front yard that she doesn't like. And because we recently got the one in the backyard. Yeah, like, why are you so, like... Like, we were, like we've been told to get one for the backyard anyways because that's where the thieves always go to, at the back door to get in. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't afford it. I hear her dog. Luck. Yeah, I hear her dog barking right now. It won't be out, it won't be out there for very long. It's cold. It's cold, and also she's worried about the cameras. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Uh, oh my fucking god. What was I saying? I'm trying to think. I can't concentrate on that and the dog. Uh, I fucking don't know. Can you guys hear that fucking there? Oh, the camera in the back. That was recently just bought, and she doesn't like that one. But that we were told to get a camera for the back door, and we did. That one. Oh. <laughs> I heard the window open upstairs. The jizz might open up and told the dog to shut the fuck up. The dog went quiet. <laughs> well, do you hear it? You guys had to have heard oh, it. Oh, I heard it loud and... Yeah, it was, it was coming loud and clear. <laughs> anyway, uh, the camera in the backyard was supposed to be bought a while back, but we didn't have no cash to buy one. So we only had two in the front yard. But because the lady's dog's been barking like that and Timmons housing Keeps like, needs evidence of things, we had the, we bought the camera to, for, you know, to get show. Two. we got two birds stoned at once. It's facing the back door, but it also faces... I heard somebody yelling something. It sounded like a female. It's, it's dark out. There's no sun. Well, did you hear a female though? Yeah, I like did. Because I was thinking, bitch, if you're fucking, you know, talking to my kid like well, that. Ask, ask Justin if he knows something. I heard the window open. Maybe they were arguing. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, now that the camera's in the backyard, it films the door, plus it films her dog doing what it's doing, you know. I talked to the lady at Timmins Housing. She said that that should have been taken care of, but obviously it's not because uh, she's not going to stop her dog from barking. So she sent me some, something in an email, but I don't got a printer. She wants me like to do this whole thing and send it back to her, right? So they know what's going on over here. Because I don't got a printer, she's she's mailing me like a stack of these fucking papers to fill out about it, you know? What happened? So, Justin's like, I was like, did you, did you <laughs> yell out your window? He's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, you hear that fucking thing? So what happened? So he opened up his window and he said, shut the fuck up! He said, and then she actually shut the dog up, he said. And I was like, yeah, but did she, was she, 
did you hear something? He's like, yeah, actually, I heard like, rah, 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 like something. He's saying something. He said, but like, I have my music on, so I didn't bother getting up. <laughs> so he didn't hear what she said. No, but he she, did hear. She might have yelled something back at him. Oh, fuck. Fuck off, lady. Like, I'm really... So anyway, that's pretty much what happened here today. I'm so mad about Bylaw it. Bylaw came by. Um, she... And the... I don't know who, why she thinks that people want to hear this dog fucking bark. Nobody fucking wants to hear it. Just like, shut the dog up. Buy it a fucking muzzle. Put down the fucking cakes and buy it a muzzle, you know? like. <laughs> yeah, put down the cakes and buy it a fucking muzzle. It's, it's very fucking simple. So anyway, we went to McDonald's. <laughs> and we just got a couple McDoubles to hold us off. McDonald's got a, a crock pot of chili over there. But it's going to take a while. It's been on since this morning, but she says it needs a little more time. So, we were hungry. We went and got a couple McDoubles. And every fucking person... You tell them. Every, everybody that had, was placing an order in front of us, all were told to go and park, you know, where you have to go and wait. Like, usually if it's big orders, right? But, yeah. So, that was all full and had to actually park in the fucking... Uh, I had to park in the handicap Yeah, because there was nowhere... That's how full it was. And there was a there. guy parked behind me at Speedy Muffler. There's another guy... That was called Speedy Muffler? I think so. Speedies, right? Uh, there's uh, the one... Yeah, they just the, couldn't keep it together over there. The, there was like a... Uh, when Ed parked... They were falling apart. They fell. It was already a part. Like, it was bad. There was a guy that, like, I thought, he was One like... One guy pulled up beside us. He was pissed off. He, they told him to go and park. He had to go inside just to get a coffee. Yeah, and I heard him say something like, I need my coffee or something like that. Yeah. Like He didn't he, want to wait in the car. He just went in to get it. Yeah. That, that's Going really, through the drive through for a coffee, you had to park and wait for it. That's how fuck they are. I would have been mad, too. I would have been fucking mad, like... This is like, and of course, I don't understand at the McDonald's here, right? And I, Ed, because uh, we were going to Tim Hortons after that, so Ed get the, we get an iced tea, right? They give you the fucking iced tea, but they don't give you t the straw until they come out with your fucking food. Yes, yeah, so you're sitting there waiting and waiting, and you're thirsty as fuck. Cocksuckers. What a shit show. I could have took the lid off, but... I had a little the supersized ones. I don't want that spilling in the car. Oh yeah, I would, yeah. Well, it was like I was fucking. That's what I was gonna say. Like, you know, she knows that she's not supposed to be smoking. Like, it has to be sixteen fucking feet away from wherever, like the house. Okay. And well, that's why she doesn't want to be on the camera. Because, that's the thing. Because see, here's the thing. Her dog keeps bark. Her dog will bark at whatever Nothing. whatever time in the morning she gets up. I have to let the dog out to piss. Mm -hmm. It'll bark the whole time. Waking everybody up here. Then she'll let it oot a few more times in the morning and it'll keep on fucking barking. She'll let it oot at lunchtime or whenever she comes home from wherever it is she's at. It'll bark. Then all night long, like all night tonight, she'll go in the backyard with these dirty cigarettes of hers and just stand there while her dog barks. Yeah. Until, until about 2 or 3 a.m. And she won't tell the fucking dog to stop. She'll just keep on, you know, stand there looking at the fucking thing. Yeah. She'll have a conversation with it. Well, the She'll dog's go, barking, but she will not tell it to stop. She will go up to it and give it pets. Yeah. But and nowhere in there do you ever hear her say no or get in the house or no, you'll never hear her say that ever. Yeah. And that's fucked. So, I forget what we were talking about. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Hang on. That's twice now. Yeah. Fuck, I forget what the fuck we were talking about. This is... We have to start over. No, we don't have to start over. We're talking... Well, maybe. How do you, we're not finishing what we're starting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said. Okay, we talked about... You told the whole story of bylaw. Yeah. And then I said... Uh... <laughs> Hang on. Uh... I brought up something. Something about... Oh, the camera. Like, why she's so worried. Like, there's rules here, and you're explaining what she does. Go in the backyard and smoke and let oh, yeah, them yeah. So and that's her why... Sm her smoke leaks into the house here, 
and it makes it smell really fucking bad some days. Not all the time. Some days she smokes it there and uh, it doesn't like, bother with us at all. She's trying. But some to... days it comes in here and it's like, holy fuck. Like she wants to. I might as well just take up fucking smoking again. Like she wants to break the rules and create her own. Like you can't. The lady do that. at housing is already aware of what she's doing. I don't un like. I, but she I, keeps doing it anyways. Anybody could put a fucking camera up around here, and I, I would not care. I would not fucking care. Like, okay, you have a camera. Like, good. Like, and like Ed was saying, if the fucking bylaw, right? Honestly, if you're a, if that's what the thing, that's the okay. I have proof of their other bylaw saying different. So, like, explain that to me, bylaw lady. But, but. You know why? Then that would mean that bylaw is going to go to everybody's fucking house, right? And say... Well, they would have to. You can't just come here and make me take down my shit. You have to make everybody take down the cameras. That's like the place... And then you got to go to the city where she's coming from and make the city take down their cameras. Because the city's cameras are probably facing like across the street at other... Uh, they got places they don't own. You know? You can't be filming other people's businesses then if... If that's what the law is, if that's what the rule is. Yeah, so they would have to take like down their cameras or blur their cameras and, out. And I don't really understand, like, the, like how in the city bylaw is there one thing saying this, but different over here, it says, like, that what this says is not any good because this rule would take, like, this would take effect if it's being used for this. You're not reading between the lines, lady. <laughs> A long time ago, I had a camera in the backyard. It wasn't a ring cam. It was a different kind of camera. It wasn't a very good camera. Um, and the bylaw lady came here to make me take down my shed. And I'm going to be honest with you, the camera was only a fake camera. It didn't even work. And the bylaw lady came here to make me take down my shed. And after I, I said, okay, well, I'll take down the shed, but I'm going to go to the city and find out what the fuck's going on because, like, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to have a shed, right? So anyway, we got into a little bit of an argument, nothing big. She was, she was doing most of the arguing. And then when she was done arguing with me, she said she was going to go and tell her boss that I was yelling at her and threatening her and all kinds of shit in my yard. And she left, and I was thinking, what the fuck? I didn't do any of that stuff. And then I seen the fake camera that we had up, okay, and the girl from housing called me, and I said to her, did you talk to your boss about me yelling at you and threatening you and stuff? And by she, law, you mean, not housing. Well, that's what I meant, yeah, by law. And she said, no, not yet. He's not in until, I think she said, like, Tuesday or something. This was on a fucking Friday. And I said, okay, uh... I said, just let your. I just want to let your boss know that he he can come and check out the, you know, the footage from the camera from my backyard, showing what happened. And all of a sudden, she shut up. She came back over here to my house. She was making me take down my shed because the cocksucker behind me complained about it. And he had a, a shed up that he wasn't supposed to have up. He was pretending it came with the place, you know. It's a long story. I'll explain it another time. A lot of you guys might already know the story. But anyway, because she made up that story about me, and she thought I had her on film because when she came back, she saw that I did have a camera there. She listened to everything I said, and she went to that cocksucker's house behind me, and she made him take his fucking shed down. I had to take mine down too, but he he had to take his down, and he's the one who started the whole fucking thing. And so I said to the lady today, I said the camera that I used to have in the backyard here, I said it's what it's what saved me from one of your fellow employees that was trying to like accuse me of doing something I didn't do. I said I had a camera back here to prove my innocence, and I said like why would I take this down? And she didn't say nothing. She just said, I'm not trying to make you take down your cameras. And she, she was just worried about a blur program. And I think I already spoke too much about the blur, eh? I don't remember what we said. We talked about I'm on. I'm on, uh... What am I on? <laughs> Hang on, I'll find... Girl Scout cookies. I got a new batch of... Uh, that's the shatter, the Girl Scout cookies. 
my God. is really fucking good. <laughs> and Donna here's on. She's she's on the tinctures today. And um, the butter. And some butter. And some. I don't know what to make. And weeds. Donna's on everything. We're gonna put some chairs together. Oh yeah, Donna's got her table today. It's here. We gotta put that fucking thing together. It would have been put together already, but I had to deal with the bylaw. I was. I'm so mad at that fucking bitch next door. Oh, you you just fucking you like nothing but like a fucking like who calls and says. Oh, this person's security camera is is videotaping just me. It's looking into my house, really? Cause show me where. What? When the, when the bylaw lady was here, I showed her like the camera's fucking dead because it's been so cold. The battery's dead, and it's not even facing her house. It's facing that fucking way because the battery's in here charging. It's it's not even facing anywhere. It's it, and and it's dead. I I showed her, I grabbed my tablet and showed her like there's no. There's no power to it. I can't even see nothing if I wanted to right now. You know? What did she say? Nothing? Well, there's a little s square that it shows there of the last... Clip? The last clip, so the bylaw lady was, like, really trying to peek at that. And she goes, well, I can see it's, it's, see it's look, looking at your door here, but it, you got the whole yard here. Well, yeah, it's filming my yard, and it's got a... You know, it films the other yards, too, because, like, there's no blur program to shut off, like... I can't just cut the fucking thing out the way I want. We don't got, like, fucking, like, high-tech fucking cameras. They're fucking ring cams. They cost a hundred bucks each. Like, they're very low-tech. <laughs> There's no features. No, like it, like I said, you can... There's an alarm button. If I wanted to press it, I could set off a fucking you can alarm. You set your, like, zone. Which I don't even know if it works, because I've never used it. You could... You can set your privacy zones, but if you set the way how the cameras are, it's gonna be there would be no point in us having cameras. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see anybody like the person coming into the fucking yard or leaving the fucking. You yard. You see the back of them when they're going into the fucking house with probably a goddamn hood on. It, you would see them like I wouldn't be able if they were to walk down to the end of the street and go whatever way. I wouldn't be able to fucking like I need to know things. We need to know things. And I'm not fucking taking it down or setting up any blur fucking program or... Fuck you. Fuck you. And that fucking bitch next door, she's cruising for a bruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, she made me... She's made me so mad. You... Where do you think you are in she the fucking right? She would you like you're a bug. <laughs> like, just shut your fucking dog up. Just shut it up. We're, we're supposed to accept the dog barking like that. I'm not accepting it because it's not acceptable. It's unacceptable. Like, I swear to God, it's like she never even owned an animal before. That or that, and she's fucking, fucking head, man. Like, oh, she makes me so mad. <coughs> Fuck right in the fucking head. Play the poor fucking me game, you fucking... Oh... Anyways, stay happy, stay safe, be kind, enjoy your Friday night. If it's cold. Well, she, she's mad because housing gave her shit. And also, housing, what, what are those called? Log papers? <laughs> Complaint log. Complaint log. They want us to fill those out and write down every fucking time that dog goes outside barking. How long it's barking and, for, and, the and, time, the and, days. And to go with the fucking... With with everything that we say, we need video to prove it, right? And that's what we got. This could have all been avoided. If she would have shut the fucking dog she up. She shut the dog up. Oh, yeah, and the tree fuckers are supposed to be coming, I want to say, tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. Tomorrow or the next day, this was become the take away what's left of the logs because it's creating a great big mm -hmm. mouse problem. Yeah, I've seen one. The mice, mice are trying to get in the front door, the back door, They're underneath everywhere the they fucking can. can. They just won't fuck off. Who would have known a tree can hold that many mice? There's fucking tracks everywhere. And they're like a good size. Like the one I seen last night is was like it, it, it's been eating well. 
you know. I looks don't, like it's been eating other mice. Yeah, like it. It looks like uh, it, fuck. I, I just want to kill it. Donna wants to murder that. I fucking thing. said when they come and fucking put those through the chipper, eh? I don't fucking care if they're in there anymore. Chip them up. Chip them up. Cigarette holder, everybody. We are oot. We are oot. Surprised she doesn't catch them and have them as her pets. I swear something works against me. No matter what it is. When we got robbed, we lost everything almost. And we were told to put up cameras. And we couldn't afford the cameras at first. Then finally we were able to get some cameras. And now that we got three cameras up, and I finally was able to buy a new computer. When I got robbed, my other computer got taken. That was three years ago, four years ago, five years um, ago. In 2017. Yeah, a long time now. Well, I finally was able to get another computer. Finally able to buy a few new... I got some possessions now. And something's trying to fuck with my cameras. What the fuck? I get robbed and told to put them up. I replaced my stuff. Now I got to fucking... Well, I don't got to take them down, but... I'm getting the heat. Right? <laughs> Cocksuckers. <laughs> 